Um, I'm Iona, I'm a graduate researcher working on um, a PhD project with Urban Splash funded by the Low Carbon Eco Innovatory. It's a prefabricated project set in three modules, so you've got the ground floor, second floor, first floor as three different elements delivered on site. One of the byproducts of building it off-site is actually buildings tend to perform better than if you build them on-site. You know, it's in dry conditions, things are machined precisely, dimensionally it's more stable, there's less tolerance, so things are basically a tighter fit. One of the things we're looking at is actually, does that deliver better performance? The, the kind of design tools we've got seem to indicate that. We don't really know, hence the study with the university. As a business, we want to head towards carbon zero homes, but there's no current tools there for us to be able to readily measure what we've done. So the idea is collect data, measure it, validate it. And if we're on the right track, then great. If we're not on the right track, we get a roadmap for how to turn that around and put us on the right track to more sustainable and better performing homes. Marlan Maritime Technologies specialise in providing radar software, hardware, installation and maintenance and our main industry is vessel traffic management services. So if you imagine uh, air traffic control but for a port, so what is this ship, what's it carrying, what berth is it going to, where's it come from? Uh, but over the last four years we've been moving into the hydrographic monitoring and surveying industry. Traditional methods of protecting the coastline normally involve hard engineering schemes such as sea walls and groins that use an awful lot of concrete and steel in their construction and are incredibly carbon intensive. This project is moving towards using softer methods such as managed realignment or dune maintenance. But in order for these uh, working with nature technologies to be accepted, they require a much better understanding of coastal dynamics. The eco-innovation in the project comes from better understanding natural coastal systems so we can use their natural resilient behaviour and therefore move away from engineered coastal defences. My name is Alan Robinson, I'm um, an environmental consultant here at the Safari Park. Um, I'm here mainly to look at and monitor their um, energy usage and try and find ways to, um, to sort of limit that usage and invest any savings in other renewable energy uh, measures. So we're, um, we're working on a zero carbon, zero cost uh, project with the university, trying to understand how uh, safaris and establishments similar to ours can uh, invest in zero carbon technologies or improvements, but do that at zero cost if possible. Farm Urban are an SME based in Liverpool. Uh, we research and develop the most efficient ways to grow food in urban environments. Aquaponics, hydroponics, mushroom cultivation. So hydroponics is where you grow plants in water as opposed to soil and you add the nutrients directly to the water. Aquaponics is where you grow fish and plants together in a closed loop system. Um, so your fish are fertilising your plants and your plants are purifying the water for your fish. So it's a very, very efficient and sustainable way to grow food in cities. Basically, this is a, a way in which we can take agriculture into different uh, settings. So it could be applied, for instance, on a, uh, an unused space on the roof of a house or in a back garden or in a tunnel or in a basement. And we're looking at all those kind of scenarios. So my name's Rachel Atkinson and I work for Egg Homes. So we're, we're a company that focuses on sustainability and trying to have a quality product that is going to last the test of time with modern and new ways and new approaches just to try and make us different from the rest and we, we think that you know we have a really good product here. They are attempting to build the most sustainable high-end homes in the UK. They're working closely with a consultancy called BRE to achieve what's called the home quality mark. Uh, this will be the forerunner to setting the scene, setting the standard for high quality homes in the future. 